Hi there, and welcome back to the continuation of this tutorial. So this is another off-grid video. As you see, I don't follow any specific script, so probably would be better if I do things live. But in any case, let's continue. We have the elbow. So previous video, we did it. We did the mesh and everything. We already addressed the geometry. I stress a lot that you need to have good geometries and also I advise you to use a, a decent tool okay so in this here I'm using on shape in the video description also you have the link if you want to clone this case it have different variations here but use a decent tool there are a few free tools like Salome or FreeCAD but believe me sooner or later you will realize that they're going to give you problems okay they're, they're getting there but it's still there are some deficiencies so sometimes you're going to find some problems when you move to mission state to the mission stage okay so what I want to do now is the external mesh of the geometry nothing changed but just to show you a few things so we have this geometry so far and the external is just this okay put a box outside and do everything okay so this is what I want to show you how to do things always my advice is to do everything at the cat level okay so if you want to do the external try to create the domain line in this case and then export it you can create you can read in this and then create the external domain using Nova or whatever tool that you are using but that requires a few extra steps that sometimes they are not very straightforward so it's better to do everything at the cat level as it is parameter but let me show you that so here i have uh and now but let's open four geometers okay we want to show you everything external so we're going to do it like this but also we can put uh symmetry okay we can do this and also we're going to do the same creating the external box in and all okay but always my advice try to do things in cat so here i already exported so here i have this one okay so this is the whole domain i export it from Run and shape so nothing changed i will show you the steps and then also we have the half geometry so sometimes you will realize that you can use symmetry i'm not a big fan of symmetry okay for whatever whatever reason i don't want to go into details but you can apply symmetry you save cells okay but let me show you how to do this one so remember nothing changed so the first important thing here is that all lines are black meaning that you have everything is a closer face and also when you import it it created the volume automatically sometimes it might happen that it doesn't create that volume automatically so here you have the suction volumes flat erase the volume and then right click and you create the volume and you have it there so everything pass here all your checks they pass by the way it might happen that you don't have this window here messages so as you create here in the tab see that you have many options so you can enable disable those windows so i always i like to have messages there and you see what is happening so we want to go straight ahead here to the mesh okay and let's create the mesh so remember global and local parameters and i like to access this window here in the local this one so this have that ice and safety feeling so remember that the developers and know what same people for nice and so the the GUI is very similar so as you have used ice and you will find many things are similar so global parameters let's define my global parameters max size and min size okay and let's say that i want to put here 36 meaning that i want an edge every 10 degrees now of curvature and since that can change when you do external because now if i do this okay contrary to the other case that it was internal we were applying that minimum size or maximum size here now if i do that do that that maximum size will apply here as well so let's do the surface mesh only okay and see but it's not a problem but when you do the mesh you're going to apply that small size also here and this mesh will be large mesh because it's the volume so be careful about that you need to know what you are doing so i will go here i will put one and see the difference now okay so i put one there larger cell so it will be much smaller that may add some transparency so you're going to have the transition from the small cells in the surface of the of the elbow to the external one so be careful about that okay these are global parameters and remember that you have access to local parameters so for instance if you want to have a smaller triangulation in the elbow you can in this case we have here the elbow external but it will be the whole domain so let me go back to the geometry and let's do let me close the mesh 
okay and let's do some separation here so let's separate some stuff you go into geometry select face so i'm pressing the the key f or you can go here make only faces selectables and let me select all the external domain okay and let me move it to the new group so i will call it walls and then you have the elbow okay so now it's better now we can have local access to the elbow and then you can split also the elbow and see different surfaces so if i go here see that now you have it there i can hide the walls and see that for instance i can apply some refinement here so let me go here 005 okay and put it there let me apply transparency and there you go your local refinement okay so be careful about this small stuff nothing changed as i say so now for instance i want to apply the boundary layer okay i can come here i can enable in the volume so remember that you can have access to different volumes later we're going to see that three and the height of the first cell let me say that it is zero zero five you click here you have here all the messages what, what is happening and you can put your clock cut plane there let me hide here and if i soon i have my boundary layer here boundary layers here are perfect okay so coming back to the open phone community you are not going to have the same problems that you have with uh snappy or even cf mesh okay so this is what we have and the next step is to create the triangulation okay so remember you can create your tetra and you stop there or you can go and convert that tetra to polyhedral cells okay usually when you i like polyhedral we're going to work a lot in that just to show you that they have they, they do have very nice properties but usually also when you use polyhedral you reduce your cell count so you can you can construct a poly a, a tetra let's say from six uh tetra okay so you are going to reduce by a factor of six if you are using tetra if you are using quads also you can reduce it by a factor of something between two and four okay so we're going to work on that to show you but now my cut my cut plane there and there you go you have your nice tetra mesh okay you can change also the growth rate here the hierarchy and so on okay so the next step if i want to go and use the poly okay you select poly here click again there and in front the tetra mesh is going to create the poly okay so coming back all again to uh open phone it is the poly dual mesh if i would recall the, the the utility here is a dualizer okay and it might be a little bit uh, time consuming process especially if you have large meshes okay because it's just doing checking quality merging cells and so on but the meshes are very usually very very good quality okay so let's see when we have a valid mesh here and there you go we have our polyhedral mesh very nice there so and if i put here my cut plane there you go this is a polyhedral mesh okay very nice mesh we have in this case so this is the one the meshes i like to use they can align very well to the flow you can play a little bit with that but those are more advanced options so as you see nothing changed you have to be careful now when choosing dimensions but the workflow is pretty much the same okay you can do exactly the same in this case nothing changed it's just symmetry okay so i'm not going to do it now i'm going to show you how to get to this from a single geometry okay so namely from this stuff so let's explore import here the geometry so here i have elbow it will be this one so basically i have this and i want to construct the external box by the way you can import multiple geometries also here okay but you need to select them in one single step just to show you i select this one and they need to be the same format okay so you need to select a step and a step or a stl and a stl and so on so and let me select the box both of them created using an external cac tool and see here that you have both geometries here automatically created the volumes and you can do the same operations that i'm going to do 
here. So basically, as you see, what we need to do is to insert inter intercept volumes. In this case, it will be surfaces. Remember that we're importing the geometry and we're seeing all the surfaces lines, the whole parametrization. We're not seeing actually a volume, the whole parametrization that we have in, in this cat exchange format. So let's work here, okay? So the steps that we're going to do here will be equivalent to what you need to do here. So the first thing is that we need to create the external box, okay? So go back in geometry, see here that you have some primitive here, okay? So if you want to create a external geometry and you don't have it here, you will need to import it like we did here in this case. Okay, so I want to create, um, let's say in this case, instead of a box, let me add, add here a semisphere, okay? I put this one, I'm happy with this, okay? And I want to cut my elbow in the middle. So I know that the coordinate in set will be zero, okay? Put it there. You can increase the diameter, the ra radius. So let me put it larger, at, and there you go. So this is what we're going to do, external geometry, but see that if I put some transparency there, they are not intersecting. Now I need to intersect the solids or the surfaces, okay? So basically this is part of that geometry, you know, you need to repair or manipulate the geometry. So you start to select, uh, so see that all lines are black, as you can see, everything is perfect here, but when we start to intersect, we're going to see new colors there. So let me intersect this with this, right click and see that you have many options and in this case i want to intersect surfaces and see that automatically it will create this line is yellow meaning that is connected to more than two surfaces and namely it is connected to this to this and to the internal one three surfaces okay it's a non-manifold surface and you keep doing the same with all surfaces okay so you ba -ba 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 -ba, intercept and you keep going, okay? So you can select multiple surfaces. So let me go here, select these two. Uh, let me select all the surfaces. You intercept and see that you have the intersection. For instance, let me select this one and this one is critical. I just want to show you something that, see when you intercept visually, looks very different since that it damages the surface later work this is entirely visual when we do the mesh it will project your surface mesh in the right way but for some reason you're getting here this strange effect in the visualization okay so you have to be careful sometimes in something just visual sometimes it might be that it it damages the surface it manipulates the surface and i said like this the uh okay this one this one this one this one intercept there you go, intersected everything. Sometimes also might happen that when you try to intersect, it doesn't find that connection. It might happen, in this case it work. And probably you get the idea what we need to do here. So see that yellow lines means that it's connected to many, to more than two surfaces. So now we need to start to split things. So see that when you intersect, you are also split, split in the surface. So I start to erase, well, I will do multiple selections, remove, gone, Okay, then I go here, here, remove, uh, gone, and let me go here, remove, gone. Okay, so we are almost done, but I still see that this is yellow because you are intersecting with this one also. So you can go here, remove, and there everything becomes black. Perfect. And just to show you something, for instance, let me erase this face, remove, okay, and everything becomes red, okay? So meaning that the surface is, red means that surface is just connected, or that edge is connected just to a single surface. And we want double, double edges, which are black. Okay, but this is not a problem, can be a buffer, you may be working with a buffer, but if you're not working with buffers, attention, okay? So, and let me go an extra step, let me select an edge, and let me erase this section, let me see if it works. Okay, no, I couldn't erase it, but it doesn't matter, okay? And for instance, let me show you, select this node and this node. I can create a line between these two nodes, and here you see create edge. And the line is blue. Blue means that this line is connected to nothing, free edge. 
So this free agent doesn't do anything, okay? So you can erase it, but just to show you the color coding, okay? So select, I can erase this one, so it shouldn't give any problem. However, you can project this edge in a curve, so you have it, and if you click in an edge, so let me undo. You have the option project, probably, ta -ta 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 edge, you can select face so you select the edge and the face and you have project action curve and it will do a projection here it didn't work but you can do many things okay but always it's better to do it everything at the cat level as you see you, you were doing here many conversion operations that you don't need it will be much easier if you do it at the cat level so this is what we have and to fix this problem here that we have a missing face select the edges this and this and then right click create face for edges and automatically it is filled and you have it there so it created it moved it to a group also so i can say let me move okay this one elbow okay so let me move this select this face let me move it or copy okay da, 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 da. okay have it here let me set it here okay probably create confusion that have the same color so let me go here set color and change the color something different ah excel okay uh, okay okay let me see okay you have it there so this is the color transparency okay Okay, we have it here. This is a group fluid. Let me change again the color. Let me put uh, orange. And there you go. So you, you already have it there. If you want, you can move it to a group. Okay, so you can. Let me move it to the elbow group. And I have everything grouped there. And this is it. Okay, we have everything. And now we can move to the machine step. Remember, same previous step. So let me go here. Zero, one. Let me put local parameters. I like to work here. And then you have the elbow and you can put local control there in the elbow. And for instance, refinement there, let me put 36. And if you want to add the prismatic layer, you can enable that. Put five layers, 0 0.005. Okay, and see that I define everything now. And just to show you, so previously we were working single steps individual first we do the topology mesh we then we add the boundary layer but if you are feeling lucky and you know what you are doing instead of selecting here surface mesh you can go and do everything in a single step surface plus volume mesh plus prism okay but my advice do everything in a step do the surface save that if you are happy move to the next step do the prismatic layer if you are happy save it as well and then move to the volume mesh okay it's better like that but if you're feeling lucky you know very well what you're doing go ahead and do everything in a single step so if i press that one there we're going to have surface boundary layer and volume in a single step and there you go okay so i don't see the prismatic layer okay let's see what happened there but and if I put the, my cut plane there, ah, sorry, uh, I need to select here what happened here is that boundary put polyhedral and let me go here. Okay. So for some reason it is doing only, okay yes uh, i forgot to add the volumes so yes that's possible so you don't have the volumes it will do only so very important here uh you have two bodies so we need to create a single volume but just to show you here you have the options you go back to geometry see that you have the option five fine volumes it will find the volumes automatically in this case it will merge everything in a single volume so it will Fine. It will know in this case that the larger bar you're going to grow the mesh between the larger and the smaller one. Okay, so if I go here, everything is pretty much the same. I click here, and it will do all the steps. Okay, so surface only. I want to create the all in a single step, 
I can enable the messages so you have it here to see what it's doing. So you see that now it's doing the polyhedral. Okay, so you have everything you can follow the complete history of what happened there. And there you go. Okay. Your nice mesh. Let me put your coupling there. And there you go. A nice polyhedral mesh. And for some reason, I don't have the prison. So let me go back here. Uh, okay, apply. Okay, okay, I need to enable here, here. Enable prisons. And let's go again. Okay. Okay, I think, and also skip, it didn't generate the prisons. Uh, okay, so let's go step by step, and then we see what was the problem. So I generate first here. Now let me move here. This is a prismatic layer. Okay, so see that it grew your prismatic layer. And now you can move here and generate your tetra and the poly mesh. So this is the best way to work. And just to stress also, remember that in the geometry, there was this funky surface here. Okay, see that now it projected the triangulation now correctly into the surface. So here is just a confirmation that it was a visual effect. So here now you have your poly. So remember that here, if I bring back the geometry, see that you have this strange effect. It's just visualization. You have the correct projection there. Okay. So put transparency and there you go. Okay. So for some reason, didn't create the three steps. Uh, so see here that you have your whole transition. So here, it didn't, I don't know what happened. So as you said, everything should create it, but sometimes happen, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Another reason to do it incremental way, step by step. So what I want to show you that you see that nothing changed here is now external. Be careful how you choose your dimension size and so on. Okay. But there is a lot happening here with the boundary layer and we're going to work on that in an, another video, but because I want to compare also with what is happening with Snappy. I'm going to show you what is the solution to those problems that happening in Snappy and how things are going uh, are done here. But see that here we grew the boundary layer in the whole walls here, including what is potential and inlet. And see that you have something nice, but it's just you don't grow that boundary layer here, that inflation layer, prismatic layer here. You're going to see that cells prismatic layers are going to collapse here as well. And that is just entirely due to quality reasons and so on. So later we're going to see that. But the last thing that I want to show you, let me raise the mesh. What will happen if I create, uh, if I use two different volumes? So let me go here, select this one, go back geometry, delete volumes, you flatten everything and let's create different volumes for each of these to you. So now basically what is going to happen Okay, probably it's going to crash. Okay, let me reopen. It's not a problem. Well, I didn't save it. So remember always to save things. So I <laughs> an office create. So you see that we see life problems. Uh, so let me import uh, box this two here. I know I have it there. So I import into geometries. Okay. And trust it. Okay. And. Uh, 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 so here I will need to do all again that operation and just to show you that it, that can be a conversion step and probably a slightly different. So let me select here all everything in a single step. Pum, 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 pum. There's some other selection that you can select all the surfaces connected to a single one and so on. But I guess go there. You have everything. You can start to raise. So see here that in this case, it didn't create 
an edge there. It didn't find that one. So sometimes you can have different outcomes depending on the dimensions of the domain, the shape, and so on. So let me raise there. Let me raise here. Let me raise here. This one didn't find anything, but it's not a problem because I can come here. I can select these two nodes, this and this, create an edge. See that it's blue because it's connected to nothing. Now select edges. So I press the E key, create face, and there you go. Okay. And now you can start to do some other manipulation. So see that here we have a single face. So this is why this is yellow. This, is, this one also is red. Okay. Some precision we have there that is not found in the other, but it's not a problem. So we can do many things here. Okay, so I can erase this face and create another, create suppression. But this is way to do here is just to cut a hole in this face using all these edges. Okay, so how do, how can we do that? So we can select this edge, right click, and see that you have an option here. For instance, se se chain select edges, and see that automatically select everything connected. Didn't select for some reason that one there. There is some some microscopic gap there because, but it's not a deal. So now you have all the edges, you can select the face, right click, a split face of edges, and see that now, remove, yes, and everything is black, and that's all. You are ready to go here. Okay, so you have your geometries there, okay, no problem. Uh, so what we can do here, okay, is that we have, okay, we have this here and we can do exactly the same as we did previously. Okay. So you put here one, zero, zero, one. So I'll show you an, another way to do things there and there you go. So see, this is entirely visual and nothing changed. Okay. But see that that's why I mentioned you now that it's better to do everything at the geometry level It's much easier that you get that geometry, everything intersected here. You have some extra step that sometimes you can find, you will get some strange, uh, uh, behavior. Okay. So the final thing that I wanted to show you, okay. It was what will happen if I have, uh, if I put two volumes. Okay. So let me go on do that again to end that video and then the next video we're going to talk a lot about that boundary layer and some things that happen in there so see that i have this one let me do it here in geometry let me create a bada -ba 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 and a sphere and let me make it larger to enclose everything and this is enough for me to just illustrate this Okay, and if I go here, okay, you have a volume for the elbow and then you can create a volume here. So two different volumes. Okay, and if I go here, let's see what happens. So we put there. So remember to, to save everything every now and then if it crash, I'm not saving, but hopefully it's not going to crash. Okay, I have everything. Let me put 36 and click here. So it's going to do surface and volume in one single step. See that the mesh, as it's a topology base, the mesh is going to follow all those lines that you have, you know, when you create, you know, that primitive there. And let me put some transparency, everything seems okay. But what is funny that is like look inside. Okay. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. is creating also inside it is creating cells. It's not cutting anything. That is what happens when you have different volumes. Okay. So here and you create it, you have to be careful that is you want to create to cut a hole no, to inside or to mesh inside the bodies. You can have multiple, you put it there and then the larger bodies where the mesh is going to go. Okay. So be careful about that. Okay. But sometimes there are some occasions that we want to have this split 
like in here okay for instance creating so you want to have rotating bodies and so on okay so later we're going to work in the as you say in the boundary layer okay but here the steps are the same you have the link you, uh, download the geometry try to play with the options to to fix the geometry and so on and get familiar here with setting your global parameter as you have seen you just need to set these values and then just press generate mesh and likely you are going to get good quality meshes and i always recommend you just to do things incremental surface boundary ledger and then grow the prismatic and here you have your quality metric as well you click there and see the generally speaking very good mesh you have volumes no orthogonality okay so just to show you something let me go back to this one so if you want to see the cells that have this quality value so let me select this one you click in show and then when you go in group list you can see all the elements that are contained here within all you know, this this value so as you right click let me put some transparency right click find a small entities next and you can see where those cells are and you can see this face is attached to that tetra and so on so you can explore in that way the mesh and since also you can manipulate your mesh and so on or you can find a solution to that specific problem okay so let's see ba -ba 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 -ba. okay previous this one so i see that here as expected this face is connected to a few tetra there that are giving you problems well this is not a problem this is a good quality but okay so yes thank you for your attention okay so we address now the external geometry nothing changed and stay tuned for the next video where we're going to talk a, a little bit more about that boundary layer okay so that's all see you next time bye